Joe's here for today's workout. Today's workout is a strength and then we're gonna follow it off with a lovely stretch afterwards. Now you will need some tools. So I'd like you to grab a pair of moderates, so ones that you can use for row patterns and for your legs, and a pair of lights for your shoulders and triceps. All right, awesome. Grab your gear, let's go. Hey there everybody, welcome. I'm PJ from fitnesswithpj.com and Jan and Bella <laughs> are in the house to give you a strength workout. So this is a low impact workout designed to build strength in particular in the shoulders, posture muscles. Well, actually, we hit everything, so never mind. Designed to hit every muscle in your body. All right, let's get warmed up. You ready? All right. Okay, feet apart. Give me some big arm circles. Make them big and go backwards so we get those shoulders warmed up. I'm so happy you joined us. If you're new to the channel and you love the workout, then awesome. Subscribe. Click that notification bell. I can let you know then every time I drop a workout. All right, now bring the arms in front, alternating knee ups as we push out. Kind of a different warm up. If you're not new to the channel, you're like, PJ, you've never done this before. No, I haven't. I just thought of it. <laughs> nice for the They're coordinated challenge. Yeah, yes. <laughs> Jan told me she's not very coordinated, so I just needed a little entertainment. So we're about to do the cha-cha next for a really good giggle. Last four. <laughs> And release. All right, feet hip width apart. Let's drop down to that squat. Knees track with the toes. Drive up off the heels. Do it again. This is a great drill right here to warm up into the knees, ankles, and the hip joint. So we have seven exercises hitting, as I said, every muscle in the body. So lower, core, upper, shoulders, and three rounds. First round is 50 seconds. Then we drop the timer down to 45 for our second round, and then our final round is 40 seconds. So you may be able to go a little heavier for that final round, or maybe you'll be tired and thinking, thank goodness I don't have to do this as long as I did the first round. Last two, and release. All right, I want you to lean to the side a little bit, take that left leg, turn the toe in, and lift it up and down, warming up the outer hip area, glute area, finding your balance, Good, four more, three, two, one. Other side. <laughs> I promise you my dog is not dead. <laughs> this is her favorite and my husband's favorite position. <laughs> Sideline on the floor. <laughs> Last four, <laughs> three, two, one. All right, you at home, get your dumbbells. We are gonna start right away. So dumbbells and maybe grab a sip of water before we start that first set. All right, at home, I want you to grab your heavy dumbbells. Okay, we're starting with a side lunge. Now we will stay with the same side for the full 50 seconds and then do the other side. So set up, feet wide, toes turned out. So we stay in a static side lunge. Jan and I are gonna go to our left. Now here's the scoop. If you have a sensitive low back, which I do, I want you to keep the left hand in the hip and it's only the right arm going down to the mat. Keep yourself squared to me. Otherwise, where's my balance? Otherwise, you can bring both dumbbells down, okay? But that does provide a bit more, or does give a bit more stress to the back. Your choice. Here we go. Ready, push the booty back, drop down, chest lifted. Keep yourself squared to me, so you're not twisting to that left knee that's bending. Other leg is straight, lowering down, really feeling it in that left hamstring and booty. I was actually recently asked on the YouTube channel why I do so many side lunges, and the reason being is it's a great way to fire up muscles that often aren't used in exercise and can create havoc to the knees and hips. Thankfully, I get asked easy questions on my YouTube channel. <laughs> so far, I've been managed to oh, answer them all. Oh, Bella, Bella. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know, time, you can see it home. <laughs> I can Aww. certainly see. <laughs> Here we go, other side, ready, go. If again, you got that sensitive low back like me, keep that right hand in the hip.
Dropping down to our lighter weights for our next move, we'll move into the shoulders, upper back region for really nice posture exercise. Good, see if you can go down a bit deeper, Jam. Push the booty back, there you go. Injured on this side. Oh, are you? Yeah. Never mind. Tell me to shut up. <laughs> so Jan just said she's got an injury on that side, so she limited range of motion. So it's important you listen to your body. Go in a range that works for you, not some pushy trainer. <laughs> yeah, we're not yet your left. <laughs> Encouraging. <laughs> Time. Okay, let's drop down to those lighter dumbbells. Well done, Bella. You're doing good. Good form. Okay, so stagger the stance, okay, to protect the low back. Now bring the arms up so the upper arms are parallel to the floor and bring the elbows as close together as you can. Now open, press straight up, down, and bring the elbows together. The hands will come together, no problem. It's the elbows I want you to aim for. Okay, I have to tell you, PJ, this what? is my dream. Right I here? I at home and I think, what does that, le that word start with? What letter is that? Is that an A for elbows? <laughs> the check? Elbows. Oh, elbows. Elbows. <laughs> elbows. Elbows. I do not pronounce my words properly. I know. Just that one. Elbows. <laughs> and I'm about to go to Europe to butcher a whole new language. <laughs> French and German. <laughs> Time. Tell them that you're from Quebec. There we go. All right, grab a little heavier if you can. John and I are going to face this side of the room. Give me a hip hinge so we have neutral spine, knees are soft. Arms straight, now row the arms up so the elbows are brushing by the rib cage and straighten. This is called a two arm row. Now the most important part of this move is that you have neutral spine. So I talked about this in a video I released last week. You don't want to look like a turtle, okay? You know what turtles look like, right? That rounded shell? Yeah, it looks super cute on them, but not so cute on us as human beings. You create that turtle shell with your spine and you will end up in physio. Now when the timer goes, we need to set up the dumbbells under our heels for a really cool move. Time. All right, so take your lighter ones, place them so that they would be hip width apart. Grab one or two of your other dumbbells, heels on top. Now, from here, bum comes all the way down. Come on, Jeff. And drive up. Good, down, drive up. So by lifting the heels up, a lot of us have a limited range of motion in our ankle, which affects how deep we can go with our squats. Heels up, I call these death squats. Means we can drop the bucket all the way down without losing the spine. Woo! Good times, right at home? Yeah. So tomorrow when you feel your quads, you can thank this exercise. <laughs> Now, if this bothers the knees, though, drop down to a limit that doesn't bother them. All right, grab the lighter. Stagger the stance. Hands at shoulders. Now, press straight up. Turn the palms so they face each other. Drop the hands behind. Extend. Come down. Elbows. <laughs> bend and straighten. <laughs> You're never inviting me back. <laughs> You're pretty much the only friend I got left that'll come on YouTube, so. <laughs> so this is brutal because the triceps help us push the dumbbell up and now they're isolated for that drop behind the head. Woo! Last strength move coming up. We're gonna keep these dumbbells. All I can hear is my elbow cracking. My elbow. <laughs> Time. <laughs> All right, keep these dumbbells. Now I want you to place your hands just at the top of your thigh, right where that thigh crease is. Push your bum and lean over that. That's a hip hinge. Now elbows slightly bent and lift up. Shoulder blades come together, lower under the chest. Good, now readjust the neck. After you've seen this, I want you then to line it up with the spine.
So, moving into round two, I'm gonna drop the timer down to 45 seconds after this. Or to 40, no, 45. Make up your mind, PJ. <laughs> All right, Bella. Good girl. Showing her cute side now. Oh, yeah. She's a rescue dog. I got her when she was six weeks old. Oh my goodness, you think she's cute now? Oh, she broke my heart when I first met her. I think there's no way I could not go home with this dog. All right, we need the heavies. Dropping the weight, or sorry, increasing the weight, but we're dropping the time down now. So feet wide, taking it to our left side. Toes turned out, chest lifted. Keep yourself squared to me. Left hand in the hip if you have a sensitive low back. Drop down, straighten that leg. So we wanna go back to legs straight each rep. Jan and I have gotten really quiet. <laughs> We're tired. <laughs> Dime. All right, don't go anywhere. We've got the other side. So if you've got that sensitive low back, now you'll bring that right hand into the hip. Square yourself to us still. Let's go. Easier second time though. Yeah, it is easier the second time. You know the movement. It's a little bit of what we call muscle memory. Joints are warm. All of that jazz. Grabbing the lighter dumbbells for the next move. Time. All right. So again, I encourage you to last set to have a staggered stance. I find that that helps support the low back. Elbows are up. Elbows. <laughs> Keep the elbows close together. Open. It's just wrong saying it the way you want me to say it. Sorry. <laughs> Continue on as you were. Thank you. Let your elbows go straight, <laughs> bend. <laughs> so, they call this a check press, C-H-E-K, named after the man who developed the movement, Paul Check. He's an innovator in our industry, and he found that this one really, especially for women, helped fire up our posture muscles, as well as shoulders and triceps, so. I feel it in my mid-back. Yeah, totally mid-back. Time. All right, two-arm row. So maybe the heavier dumbbells for this guy. So find that leg crease, that hip crease. Collapse over that. Neutral spine, arms straight, brushed by the rib cage. Squeeze those shoulder blades. Working into your back muscles once again, shoulders and biceps. Now with that said, because we're using dumbbells, we have to use a lot of our core, our legs are fired up. So a lot more muscles involved when we use a pair of dumbbells as opposed to seated in a machine and doing the movement in a machine. That's why here at the studio that I own, we only use dumbbells, body weight, or the TRX. So we want as many muscles involved in one movement. So it helps you functionally and you get the most out of your workout. You don't want to waste your time. Done. All right, so this is the deep squat that we did before. So let's take the dumbbells, maybe the lighter ones, so you can hold on to one or two of the heaviers. Hip width apart. Heels up. Just your heels, okay? So not your half of your foot up. Lower down, drive up, squeeze the booty on that up. So give me a little bit of a hip squeeze here. So you see the two different ways you can hold on to dumbbells, right? Jan's holding it goblet style or arms down by your side. 
or no dumbbells. This is a tough move. You might be, forget it, PJ. <laughs> My body weight is enough on this one. Time. All right, lighter dumbbells. Shoulder press, tricep extension. Perhaps that staggered stance, protect that low back. Hands at shoulder height. Press, tricep behind the head. Finish the press. So it's one, two, three, four. And my dog does not have fleas. <laughs> she scratches because she has allergies. <laughs> She's allergic to something in her environment. And I just really don't want to spend $1,700 to find out what. <laughs> Sorry, Bella. <laughs> so we have her on fancy food, fancy shampoo, allergy-free soap to wash her bed linen. Dime, all right. Bye, Bella. Reverse flies. So, hip hinge. Abla slightly bent and fly. How am I doing with my timing? Can't see you. <laughs> I'm keeping up with you. <laughs> You're looking good, Jen. Actually, Jan is looking amazing. She's only been on a few YouTube workouts and she's already a seasoned pro. <laughs> she's one of my YouTube subscribers as well as a member of my Patreon community. And that's where we've got a group of women there all looking and aiming to be fit and fierce over 40. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Dive. All right, if you need a quick sip of water, go for it. I'm dropping the time down. We have one more round. This time, 40 seconds. Heavy dumbbells in hand. I need a sip. All right. Be wide. Toes turned out. You know the drill at home. Take it to the left side only. Go. Between you shedding and my dog, I'm gonna have to <laughs> vacuum. <laughs> Maybe you need different colored mats. <laughs> down is easy, up is killer. Yeah, down is super easy. <laughs> like that when we hike. He's really good at down, not so fast it up. <laughs> Here we go, other side, ready, go. Oh, bonus. Yeah, you got extra reps in. Woo, I won't charge you for those. if I have to read something out loud. In my head, I say it properly. I go to a creative writing class and sometimes we have to read out loud. Oh, I panic. Do 
picturing everyone naked doesn't work? No. <laughs> Time. I have no problem speaking in front of people. It's somebody else's words because I foul challenged. All right, two arm row. Perhaps grab the heavier dumbbells. Hip hinge. Arm straight and row. I actually started writing a book. Nice. Yes. <laughs> what kind? Fiction. Yep. Totally fiction. Murder mystery. Ah, uh, kind of a quirky, quirky kind of book. Canadiana or something? No. No. I don't want to be stuck as Canadiana because then nobody will buy it. <laughs> <laughs> Dive. All right, depth squats or depth squats? Yes, depth. Yeah, For Patreon sure. people call it depth squats. Heels on top and lower down. But now that I'm writing more and I have a whole new level of respect for anybody who writes, it's very hard. So now when I don't like a book, I still admire the writer and the written word. Time. All right, light dumbbells, press to triceps. Also, when I go to the independent bookstores, and you know how they always have the authors sitting there mm -hmm. to sign the book? I always feel sorry for them, so I buy their books. <laughs> And press, because nobody's ever there. We've got a couple of um, cool independent bookstores here locally. And quite often, the one here in Ladner will have sort of the small time, small time author there to sign the books. It's such a neat thing, though, right? It like is. A whole book. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Reverse flies coming up. Woo! All right, so remember that hip hinge, right? We want that long spine, no rounding. Arms, elbows slightly bent, and lift. <laughs> yes, Jan is shedding. It's that time of year for Jan to shed. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you find though as you get older you lose your hair more? Yes. Yeah, like in the in, in a shower. So yeah. Who else is using my brush and has blonde hair? <laughs> <laughs> Who's breaking in the middle of the night using my brush? Are they bald? <laughs> <laughs> Yet. Gotta be close. <laughs> stretches to do and then you can continue on with your day. All right, here we go. Let's start with the shoulder. Left arm across, thumb up, press in. Feel that stretch in the back of the shoulder, upper back area. Ah, thank you so much for joining us. We appreciate it. Be awfully lonely if it was just us. <laughs> but anyways, if you are new to the channel, we would love for you to subscribe. All you have to do is click the subscribe down below and then a little bell up here. Click that too. That way I can notify you every time I drop a workout. Now take the same arm, place it in between the shoulder blades, give it a little gentle pull down and then lean away. And then if you've been doing the workouts for a while, I would love your support on Patreon. This is where the women that do the workouts, they help support the channel. They recognize the value in what we do here on the YouTube channel and want to give some support. It can be as little as $3 a month and with that provides perks for you as well. So I do a lot for that community because they do a lot for me. And release. Let's take that left heel now, bring the heel up, hold on to something stationary if you need to, pull the knee back, squeeze the bum forward. Stretch out those quads from those depth or death squats. And release. 
All right, other arm across, thumb up. Press in. Keep the arm fairly straight. We want to feel the stretch in the shoulder and upper back. Hand behind the head, give a gentle push down with the other hand, lean away so we get into your lats as well, which help assist us in the two arm row. Release, other heel to the bum. Knee points down, squeeze the bum forward, feel that stretch in the quad. Now if you have a hard time grabbing onto your laces, you can grab onto the back of your shoe, your sock, or get a yoga tie or an old bathrobe tie, tie it around the foot and hold it from there. And you've got the option, right? You can push pause and go grab it and push play and we haven't even gone anywhere. Release. Deep breath in, exhale, forward fold, fingertips to ground, hold there, stretch out those hamstrings, and then round it up vertebrae by vertebrae. Thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to subscribe, drop a comment down below, and we will see you next workout. Bye. Woo! -hoo. Again? I think you yes. too. Yes. yes. All right, knuckle. Good job.